Hi friends, welcome to the part 3 of similes and metaphors in pathology. We all know that this is a collection presenting similes and metaphors pertaining to pathology. Some are very familiar to all of us, the rest have been compiled from various sources. Now, the first one is crumpled tissue paper. Gaussian cell is uh, the only cell which is compared to the crumpled tissue paper appearance uh, which is found in Gaussian disease and that's a genetic disorder uh, it's a type of lysosomal storage disease which occurs due to the deficiency of glucocerebrosidase here uh, the spingolipids named glucocerebroside accumulates in these reticular endothelial cells and that results in the wrinkled or uh, crumpled tissue paper appearance Second one is the caterpillar. The nucleus of Anitschkow cell. Okay, uh, these are the ones which looks like caterpillar. What are these Anitschkow cells? These are the cells seen in rheumatic heart disease. These are the large mononuclear cells which is found in the ash of body. I hope you know that ash of body. Uh, they are basically nodules which are characteristic of rheumatic heart disease. They are located in the interstitial tissues of heart, um, the myocardium, the endocardium, sometimes in the pericardium as well. Okay, uh, these NH cells have uh, oval elongated nucleus with VV chromatin in the center and finger-like projections in the nuclear on the nuclear membrane, and hence that is the reason why these are also called as caterpillar cells. Many such NH cells fuse together to form a giant cell, and that is called Ashoff giant cell. Note that this is a characteristic feature in rheumatic heart disease. The third one is uh, uh, fried egg. Oh, I couldn't resist posting this picture of microbiology where uh, this is a fried egg colony of Mycoplasma pneumoniae which is grown in uh, Eton agar. In pathology, fried egg appearance is often compared, I mean the, the tumor oligodendroglioma histopathological features is often compared to fried egg appearance. Oligodendroglioma is a well differentiated WHO grade 2 infil I mean, diffusely infiltrating glioma. Histopathologically, this has a chicken wire pattern. And chicken wire pattern is because of you know arborizing thin capillaries uh, present in this tumor and a fried egg appearance of cells. That's because of perinuclear halo. You can see that this is a nucleus and then there is a very clear space uh, around the nucleus that is perinuclear halo and that resembles that of a fried egg seen here. Okay? This is an artifact but this is um, the hallmark of this tuber. And the next one is uh, which looks like fried egg is Harris leukemia in the bone marrow biopsy. Here, the leukemic cells with its hair-like projections are seen interspersed uh, within the marked uh, myeloid and erythroid hyperplasia. These neoplastic cells, you know, they have uh, uniform uh, round nuclei, you can see here, uniform round or oval nuclei, inconspicuous nucleoli and abundant uh, clear cytoplasm surrounding the nucleus and that resembles a fried egg appearance. The fourth one is eggs in a basket. Now, uh, I think you know that this is a nuclear crowding or overlapping seen in papillary carcinoma of thyroid and that uh, can mimic eggs in basket appearance. Sometimes the word egg in basket appearance is also used. Sometimes multinucleated reed Sternberg cells in hot skin disease mimic eggs in a basket appearance. The fifth one is fish flesh. Fish flesh, uh, you know, the appearance and feel of some tumors which is uh, whitish and firm mm, resembles that of a fish flesh, uh, which is most commonly seen in the cut section of uh, lymph nodes and lymphomas, the cut section of Wilms tumor, sometimes we make fish flesh like, also sometimes in some other, some mesenchymal tumors like uh, clear cell cuts, sarcoma, where the cut section looks like a uh, fish flesh. Sixth one is the nutmeg. This is one of the most commonly heard uh, word in undergraduate pathology, nutmeg liver. Nutmeg is, a, is one of the spices used for flavoring many dishes, usually in ground form or the grated form. So the nutmeg liver is seen in chronic venous congestion. Okay? Here the central vein regions are red and the surrounding hepatic tissue uh, is pale. 
so that gives the characteristic appearance of nutmeg where you can see that can you see here that uh, there is alternate dark band and then surrounded by the light areas in the liver as well you can see the dark areas and uh, surrounded by pale staining areas see these dark spots represent the dilated and congested hepatic venules whereas the paler areas represent the unaffected hepatic tissue okay so this gives rise to a characteristic nutmeg liver seen in chronic venous congestion of the liver the seventh one is the popcorn so popcorn uh, shaped cells popcorn shaped reed stone bug cells it's also called as the lymphohistiocytic variant of reed stone bug cell okay this is a very small cell compared to the conventional reed stone bug cell which is usually large around 15 to 45 microns in size whereas this is uh, smaller than the classical reed stone bug cells and then the nucleus is lobulated like a kernel of a popcorn and has a very small nucleoli compared to the classical reed stone bug cell where the nucleoli is you know Mm, a, a bit larger and it's inclusion like nucleolus whereas in this type of cell the nucleoli is small this is a seen in nodular lymphocyte predominant hot skin lymphoma okay the eighth one is the tabby cat uh, the tabby cat you know, it, it has a peculiar uh, uh, external surface where it has alternate dark band and then light bands mm, similar to that of a tiger okay so this appearance um, uh, is uh, seen in fatty change in heart where there is uh, alternate yellowish streaks and reddish streaks the yellowish streaks are because of fatty change and the reddish streaks are because of you know it's not something because it's it's basically the unaffected myocardium which looks red compared to the myocardium which is affected by fatty change which looks yellowish so the alternate yellowish and reddish streaks looks like that of uh, tabby cat appearance sometimes it is also called as tigroid appearance the ninth one is the signet ring cell so you can see these beautiful signet rings so signet ring cells are they are the large cells with vacuolated cytoplasm pushing this vacuolated cytoplasm pushes the hyperchromatic nucleus towards the periphery and thus resembling the signet ring cell appearance okay this is classically seen in signet ring cell carcinoma of stock the last one is horse shoe uh, the langans giant cell as you all know uh, they are the multinucleated giant cells found in tuberculosis the nuclei of which are arranged in the periphery in a horseshoe shape that's why it's uh, classically referred to as horseshoe shaped arrangement of nuclei in a langans giant cell it's found in tuberculosis it is the histologic hallmark of uh, which the presence of caseating granulomas with langans giant cells almost always suggests tuberculosis so that completes uh, similes and metaphors in pathology part 3 you can see much more details and the source of this in uh, my website ilopathology.com thank you for watching don't forget to like if you have any comments to make please uh, do comment in the below and then don't forget to subscribe and please do share thank you